Christians claim Jesus Christ is divine, and his ability to perform miracles is proof. Some Christians associate Jesus Christ with divinity because he performed miracles. He was able to heal individuals with leprosy, cure the blind, fashion birds of clay, then blow into them to turn them into real birds, and resurrect the dead. It is true that Jesus Christ was able to perform such miracles and was born miraculously of a virgin, as the Holy Quran confirms. God's prophets came with miracles, signs of God's existence, to prove that God sent them and that they were, in fact, true prophets of God and not imposters. None of the prophets of God, including Jesus Christ, would have been able to perform such miracles by themselves. All the miracles performed by Jesus Christ and these prophets of God were performed only by the permission and will of God the Almighty in the heavens. Islam defines a miracle as an extraordinary act or event that goes against nature's laws and can only come about through God's direct intervention and will. Miracles are not magic, which only consist of tricks or illusions performed with the help of devils. Only prophets can achieve miracles. Past prophets were provided with miracles as irrefutable evidence proving that their prophethood was, in fact, a matter of truth. Prophets were supported by miracles that their nations excelled in, so the acts would be convincing, understood, appreciated, and identified by their people and not thought of as mere magic. For instance, the people of Egypt excelled in magic and sorcery, they had reached the pinnacle of these evil acts as they were often in contact and teamed with jinn, spirits, to work illusions on people. Thus, God provided the prophet Moses, peace be upon him, with miracles related to illusions, such as the power to transform his staff into a snake right before his people. He was also able to strike the Nile with his rod to transform the river into blood and part the Red Sea. All this was meant to humble his people and remind them that God's power, control, and might are true and not just an illusion of the eyes. Likewise, during the time of Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, the Romans prided themselves on their medicine, healing arts, cures, and the possession of the best doctors in the land as medical science was at its height. Thus, God sent down the prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, with several miracles of this nature that medical science could not justify. These miracles include the miraculous birth of Jesus Christ to a virgin, and the ability to heal individuals with leprosy, cure the blind, fashion birds of clay, then blow into them to turn them into real birds, and resurrect the dead with the permission and will of God. Acts chapter 2 verse 22 states, Fellow Israelites, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth was a man, accredited by God to you by miracles, wonders, and signs, which God did among you through him, as you yourselves know. Never did the prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, take credit for performing any of his miracles. He credited God, the Almighty in the heavens, because he could have only done it through the will and power of God. Jesus Christ acknowledged that the powers given to him were from God. Matthew chapter 28 verse 18 states, Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Matthew chapter 9 verse 8 states, when the crowd saw this, they were filled with awe, and they praised God, who had given such authority to man. They did not praise Jesus Christ. They praised the Almighty in the heavens, understanding that He is the one that provided Jesus Christ with the ability to perform these miracles. Nowhere does it state in the Bible that Jesus Christ performed the miracles on His own, because He did not. The fact that Jesus Christ could not perform miracles on his own is proof that he cannot be God 
as God is all-powerful, almighty, and can do anything. All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Matthew chapter 28 verse 18. I can of my own self do nothing. John chapter 5 verse 30. I with the finger of God cast out devils. Luke chapter 11 verse 20. Moreover, as shown in the Bible, Jesus Christ was limited in performing miracles. Jesus Christ tried to heal a blind man but failed on the first try. Mark chapter 8 verses 22 to 26 thus prompting a second attempt. Would God fail and need to try again in the performance of a miracle? Of course not. If Christians still insist that Jesus Christ is God because he was able to raise the dead, well, they should know that raising the dead was an act performed by other prophets of God. Ezekiel raised the dead. Ezekiel chapter 37 verses 1 through 9. He raised many more bodies than Jesus Christ did. Elijah raised the dead as well. He was reported to have cured leprosy and multiplied bread for people to eat. Elisha was able to not only resurrect the dead, but to resurrect himself. Let us not forget that the prophet Moses, peace be upon him, could part the sea. Why don't Christians use the same thought process and perceive other prophets of God who performed similar or greater miracles to be divine. What is the reason for their inconsistency?